I'm going to say about 15 years ago, maybe, I don't know, time goes by so fast, maybe it's 20 years ago, I uh, was doing a concert, and often at my concerts, I, I love playing a game called Give Me Five Notes and I'll Write You a Song. And it was, uh, I got a note that came to the stage, it was someone's birthday that night, and she was sitting in the front row, second seat in, like right where you're sitting, right there. And so using the musical alphabet, which is A, B, C, D, E, F, A, B, C, D, E, F, or G, I said, give me any one, one of those five notes in any order you like. And she gave me these notes, A, C, F, G, and E. Isn't that a beautiful melody? Yeah, when you hear it for the first time, you know, you hear it again, it's recognizable right away, isn't it? That's one of the things that we enjoy as human beings from the moment we are born, knowing the language of music when we hear it. Maybe we don't know all the language to express it. We don't know the technical language, but we understand the language when we hear it all together. When we hear this, we all have, kind of have a response together, don't we? You know, or... You know, or, so these are uh, intervals that are manipulated by humans that create recognizable melodies. And those recognizable melodies are the ones that, pardon the pun, that strike a chord in all of us at the same time. And we have that ex human experience together which is really wonderful. So that particular evening, getting these notes, it was a wonderful gift for that person's birthday, but it was a great gift for me and also the audience and all of us who get to hear that piece of music. It's such a beautiful melody. And uh, it's called, Will You Take Me There? And so when you hear something like that as a composer, when you know the language of music technically, you don't have to spend any time figuring out what chords to play with it, you already know. Because it's following an F chord and it resolves on A minor. I just know that already. And so in that moment, you know, I, I can almost hear, I pretty much heard the whole song just from those five notes. Because it writes itself. You play that melody once, it feels like you should do it again, doesn't it? Right there, it should change, don't you think? We all feel that together. Then it changes and it goes on to something else and you can feel it and each note decides what's coming next. It's almost like a, um, an experience of no concept of time. Because what's happening in that moment when you're creating, the notes that you leave behind are in the past, but then you're in the, you're in the present, but you can hear the future, and then it becomes the present. We all know it's going to resolve here. Can't stop. See what I mean? So you're in a kind of a, you're in a, uh, you're just here. Isn't that wonderful? I mean, it was such a gift for me to experience that. So whenever I play this song, I have a remembrance of going back to that moment and how it was created. And um, so here's Will You Take Me There. 